Minecrafts, welcome back. Today is day 8 of our 18 days of tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to make three of these gorgeous shabby chic cards using some supplies you can find at home along with our stamps and dies. Let's start with the tutorial. I am using corrugated board that came with the, some of the packaging that we got in the mail and I'm going to upcycle it for the card front. I just love the look of it. It looks so shabby chic and vintage kind of and um, I actually had an idea for one card but once I started designing it, it wanted to be simple and I didn't want to stop. I had so many different ideas. So I designed not one, but three cards for you today. I cut the panels from the board and um, you can see how this board was folded like so. So I just cut them apart. I'll list all of the dimensions in the video description below for your reference. And then I'm going to paint these panels with regular gesso. I have some right here and I'm going to add, just simply brush it over and you can do more or less however you prefer and just cover the whole panel with the paint. Once I apply the paint, I'm going to give it a little bit glitter. So this is just white glitter and the paint is wet. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it on top. And then shake off the excess. Isn't it pretty? So once the paint dries, the glitter is going to stay on there. I'm going to do my other two panels the same way. I have the basis for three of my cards cut already and scored and I have all of the layers cut as well. I'll list all of the dimensions there for you. I'm gonna start with the first card and the first card is going to have really pretty poinsettia on it. I have my brown layer here and this is just a little bit larger than the size of the corrugated board. I'm going to use double-sided tape to put it on to make sure that it stays on there. Before I put this layer onto my card base, I'm going to add the stitched bracket die on both sides. I have the tape on the back already so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on. One on each side. To create the wreath for my card I die cut Pinzetia wreath die three times, one from green cardstock and two more from red cardstock. I'm going to cut off all of the flowers from the red layers, have them all separate from the little berries. Once I have all of my flowers cut apart, I'm going to give them a little bit of the shape for the dimension. So I'm going to simply pinch each petal on all of the flowers, like so. I'm 
Now all of my flowers are shaped and I'm going to, next thing, going to use my paint again and I'm going to give it just a little bit with more or less dry brush on the green part and on all of the flowers. It might lo not look like much right now, but just wait until we assemble it. Since I was using kind of dry brush, the paint is not really wet, I can go ahead and start assembling right away. I'm going to layer two of the flowers together, offset like so, and then onto the green layer, onto the green wreath. Offset a little bit so the green is still showing as the leaves. This one is an extra flower from the dye. It comes with the wreath and the one flower in the middle. I'm going to use it actually on our next card so I'm gonna finish it off so we have it ready to go the next thing I have red rhinestones Here they are. I'm going to add them in the centers of our pinsetias to finish them off It is just gorgeous, really. I really love this effect. This getting inky deal is really much, so much fun. So the next thing I'm going to put my wreath onto the card and I have the sentiment already stamped onto the long flex die. Here is my first card completed. I used liquid glue to adhere the wreath and liquid glue to adhere the banner as well because we're putting it onto the corrugated board. I hope you can see all this pretty shine from the glitter in the video. I, I really, really hope it comes through because it's uh, just stunning, <laughs> just gorgeous. Okay, card one completed, on to the next one. My second cut, I die cut mandala doily from the white cardstock. I have my sentiment stamped already on the long flags and I have the flower that we have left over from the first card, the pincetia. I cut my doily in half first and then the other half in half again. So I have three pieces right here. I'm going to glue my half doily towards the bottom of the card with the liquid glue. Going to hold it a little bit to wait for the glue to adhere to my corrugated board, painted and the glitter. Now I'm gonna say it so many times, but I really hope you can see how pretty this looks. Amazing. So next I'm going to glue my sentiment, I'm going to use liquid glue again. And 
and add the flour. It's so simple. It's so simple, but it's so gorgeous. Now on the inside, I already have my brown and white layers glued in and I'm going to use my pieces of the of the doily and add one on each side. Now my card number two is done. For my third card I have the panel already on and my inside layers are there. I die cut horselay from chipboard and from white cardstock and the Christmas tree I die cut from the designer paper and this is from the from Christmas hodgepodge paper pack and then I die cut another one from dark green kind of sage colored paper cardstock and this one I cut in half so they're separated. I have my sentiment stamped already. I'm going to create a winter scene here. So I have my dark green Christmas tree and then I'm going to put the other one in front of it. Then my horse is the sleigh to finish off the scene. I'm going to offset a little bit so the chipboard is showing on the back and then this will go on top of my sentiment. I'm going to add the other part of the tree onto the inside of the card and I'm going to add it next to the scored line. So my card number three is completed and you can see how you can use the same card base, the same feel of it and make three different cards. Our Pinsetia one, the one with the doily. and the one with the Christmas trees and the horse sleigh. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find links to all of the products used on the video description below. And I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Bye for now.